737 now this morning and first news is caring for our community. My co-anchor Chelsea Spears has been live all morning at Peaberry's Cafe at the shops at Boardman Park. And that is where if you go this morning, you can get a free cup of coffee for a great cause. Chelsea. Brandon, we've had a few dozen people coming in since six this morning. Some hanging out back here, just staying for a while, chatting over that cup of coffee with me, taking pictures. Others just coming in, grabbing that cup and heading on out because I know some of you have a busy morning. This is all for a great cause. WKBN is paying for your coffee. That's why it's free. We just ask that you donate to the American Heart Association while you're here in its place. Now, this is so important. That money is going to raise awareness for people and stories like Liz Johnson. She's joining me this morning and you're a heart attack survivor and making it so clear to people what they need to know so they're healthy. Yes, I had two heart attacks, two SCAD heart attacks, and then I'm actually in heart failure now. So the Heart Association has done amazing things. They've come into my kids' school and done talks. They've, um, the money that you donate all stays locally. So they've done a lot for me personally, my family, and for the community. What does that mean to you? Oh, it's amazing. Like, I have always been a healthy person. I never thought healthy people had heart attacks. And they are getting, they're helping me get the word out and spreading the word about this type of heart attack. And we have people at home listening right now who might think they're healthy. This can't happen to them. What are the warning signs? What do you want them to know while they're listening to you? Honestly, my warning sign, I felt like I was coming down with the flu and I had slight chest pain, and that really was it. I thought it was no big deal. I honestly went to urgent care and drove myself, which was not the best decision. Um, and, you know, if you have, my doctor said, if you have that little, little person whispering in your ear, you might want to go get checked out. It's a simple blood test to see what's going on. Liz, I thank you so much for sharing your story and saving lives this morning. When you come out here today and donate to the American Heart Association at Peaberries, you'll be saving lives by spreading that awareness, but also by raising money for research so that we can prevent cardiovascular disease. It is the number one killer, and we are working to stop that today, and it starts with a cup of coffee. Live in Boardman, caring for our community, Chelsea Spears, WKBN.